Does your family have any history of a particular illness, disease, genetic problem, or addiction that could be passed on from generation to generation? No. Chris, he, he had a heart attack, and I think that was from the smoke of cigarettes. Mm -hmm. But his, his parents lived a very, very long time. Yeah, his, his parents lived for, they were both died at 92, and Dad, even though Grandpa had black lung disease from the coal mine. Yeah. Does your family have any family myths or traditions? Oh yeah, but it's all Slovak traditions. So we would have big traditions at Easter time, and the day after Easter was Duckin' Day, St. Wenceslas, and the guys would go around throwing water all over women. And the neighborhood was a riot. Did they really do that day? Oh, yeah. Oh. So Easter was a big a big time. And uh, there's a book called uh, The Immigrant Cocoon. I, I can't find it. But I'll have to look for it. It was a story about the uh, customs of the Slovak families, especially in Basel. And, uh, my Aunt Mary contributed a lot to that, and uh, so we had Easter and Christmas and, and uh, all, the, all the Catholic holidays. Well, we finished up with the ancestors. The next would be childhood, but before we go, um, do you remember any stories about uh, the family back in Czechoslovakia, because I remember Aunt Mary I, or Aunt Tina telling us about um, rumors of um, uh, of, of how our, some of the ancestors met back in um, the old country. Do you remember any of those well, stories? Well, they say that uh, before my, my 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 grandmother's uh, uh, Barilla, she she was a descendant of a girl who was a daughter of a king. The king was captured and killed, and she be, she became a scullery maid, and that's and. I think their name was Sinclair, and she married the carriage driver for the king that killed her father, and uh, so that's supposed to be our heritage. I don't know what, which which heritage that would be.